the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back. Gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Camp. At this time, I yield two minutes to a distinguished member of the Ways and Means Committee, the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Schock. Gentleman from Illinois is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And Mr. Speaker, I wish to rise and offer a few facts. You know, there's been a lot of opinion uh, going around here today, but uh, we're all entitled to our own opinion, but we're not entitled to our own facts. President Obama famously said, and I quote, if you like your health care plan, you will be able to keep your health care plan, period, end quote. The Congressional Budget Office released the fact that 20 million people are expected to lose their health insurance coverage if this law stands. 20 million Americans who currently have health insurance will lose it under this plan. Fact. Why? Because of bad provisions of the bill. 71 out of the Fortune 100 companies will save $422 billion by eliminating their employer-provided coverage and opt instead to pay the $2,000 per employee penalty instead. It incentivizes bad behavior, precisely the op of the stated goal. Another claim the President repeated was, quote, under my plan, no family making less than $250,000 a year will see any form of any tax increase, period, end quote. Yet, only after much reason Obamacare was found constitutional, the primary reason that Chief Justice Alina Kagan, or Chief Justice Roberts, Joining with Stephen Breyer, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and Alina Kagan, along with Sonia Sotomayor, upheld the individual mandate is under Congress's taxing authority. The truth is 76% of those paying this new individual mandate tax in 2016 will in fact be individuals who make only $59,000 or a family of four who makes $120,000, far below the threshold, the promise, uh, and the guarantee of President Obama's $250,000. And finally, my friends on the other side of the aisle claim the health care spending would rise by a mere bargain of only $938 billion. There was much to do, I remember, about then-Speaker announcing it was below a trillion dollars, yet the Congressional Budget Office has updated their number to cost $1.8 trillion <coughs> just this next decade. For those reasons and more, we need to appeal this bill. I yield back. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from Michigan.